hi, it's fall, winter, and yes, we're talking about all kinds of things that happen with winter. So today, what am I going to do? I'm going to actually answer a lot of questions and show you two tricks, two little uh, pranayams, two little breathwork systems that you can put in place so that you can completely boost your immunity and of course live a much happier, healthier life as far as the winter is concerned. Because the winter is a, a time where it becomes grey, it becomes slow. Um, so these two, these two pranayams or these two breathwork systems actually boost your immunity um, and they give you more energy they, they allow you to operate better within the winter so all of that and of course you won't fall sick so if there's a fever or a cough or a cold or um, a sore throat any of that can be taken care of by just these two breathwork systems you don't have to do anything more than that i'll give you a third maybe that'll be a bonus but that's a bonus but right now what you need to do of course is like and subscribe and do all the good things right here you need to like and subscribe to my channel so you can we can get updates together and of course we can keep telling you what's happening in the world of yoga and meditation and i do some very interesting talks with um celebs or in inverted commas so you can see all of that Say for instance, there are two breathwork systems um, which we refer to in India as pranayams and um, they are essentially there because they change the level of nitric oxide in your body. Now how does that change? I will explain to you. What happens to you is very simply, in, in, in simple words, uh, when you do these, these, these pranayams or these breathwork systems, all you're doing is when you're breathing in, you're putting a little pressure on the cavities behind your nose. Now, it is within those nasal cavities that uh, a, a molecule is produced. The molecule is called nitric oxide, not to be confused with nitrous oxide because nitrous oxide is like is laughing gas. Now, nitric oxide, what it does is when it is pushed into your lungs, it meets up with your blood system because your circulation of course your blood needs to get purified um, uh, and it goes to the lungs so when the nitric oxide meets with your blood along with the oxygen yeah what it does is it dilates your blood vessels when your blood vessels are dilated more oxygen goes into your blood vessels when more oxygen goes into your blood vessels the resultant is more energy so it's a simple, a, a very simple combo that actually gets there. The other thing that nitric oxide does is, of course, it's a virus fighter. Now, there are lots of studies. I'll show you some of them. Uh, lots of studies that are going on right now uh, that actually give us a lot of hope as far as nitric oxide is concerned because it is a virus fighter. It fights all kinds of bacteria and virus. So it's good for us under the present circumstances. So let's start off right at the top. I'm going to demonstrate both these breathwork systems for you. They're extremely simple breathwork systems. So you can do them at any time and any place. I will first do um, what they call the Bhambri, which is essentially the bumblebee breath. Yeah. So how does the bumblebee breath work? It's extremely simple. What you need to do is these are your two fingers. You don't have to cover your eyes or do anything. You don't have any to have any prior knowledge of yoga as well so all you need to do is your your first finger you take your first finger and you stick it in your ear actually blocking off your hearing you actually have to do that right and then once you've done this you breathe in and you make a humming sound so breathe in really deep and then start So you have to breathe out and hum together and you have to do this really, really, really slowly and you can do it for as long as you can hold your breath. So which means that you breathe in nice and deep, you block your ears off, you can block your ears off with these two fingers, you can keep your arms like this or like this, wherever you're comfortable and then just as you're breathing out, you hum. It's 
as simple as that. What happens is that because of the vibration, it activates the nitric oxide in your nasal cavities and that flows down. It also activates all of this right down to your lungs. So all of your, your muscles in this area and all of your um, the, the systems are getting activated and that's the really, really good part. How many times do you need to do this? I'd say you, you need to technically do this seven to 10 times a day and you can do this twice two times over which means that you do it uh, 14 to 20 times in the full day you can do it at any point in time like i told you earlier so that's the first one the second one of course is anulom vilom this is a very very simple breath work that actually only entails blocking off one nostril while you breathe through the other yeah i'm going to show it to you so before you start you have to breathe in nice and deep so let's take a nice deep breath and then i block off my right nostril yeah breathe out block my right nostril and then breathe in from my left to the count of say four so one two three four then i block off my left nostril and i breathe out or exhale to my right one two three four yeah then i breathe in from my right one two three four block off my right nostril and breathe out through my left one two, three, four. This essentially makes up one set. So you can do say about 10 sets in, in one sitting and you can again do this twice a day to boost your immunity. So a lot of people come up and ask me, can, I have long nails, so can I not put my fingers into my ears? Yes, you cannot put your fingers into your ears. Instead, what you do is this this uh, lapel, this kind of laped out ear, um, you just close your ear with, with pressing, put a, uh, putting a little pressure on it so that you don't have to put your finger into your ear. Okay, so you don't really need to have a, 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 a have done a course in yoga or be doing yoga regularly or go to the gym. This can be done at home. It's comfortable. It happens in actually five minutes. So you don't have any preparations for it either. You just sit down comfortably. Your back should be straight. That's the important thing. And you're breathing in and out. One, do it in the morning if possible. Two, um, um, do not uh, refrain from eating before you do it. And especially do not do it straight after a meal because that empowers the capacity of your lungs to expand. It impacts your breath work totally. You can do it before you sleep as well. And that of course will give you a great sleep. It, it will give you a very comfortable sleep. But not only that, you can do it anyway. So you can be sitting in a chair. You don't have to be sitting cross-legged. You can be sitting in a chair and doing it. So, you know, it's it's an, it's an anytime, anywhere kind of uh, practice that you can put into place. Preferably, you can do it once or twice a day so that, you know, you, you kind of are actually boosting your immunity and bringing up the energy levels for yourself. So suppose um, you have fever at this particular point in time and uh, you want to do these pranayams because they are such simple uh, um, simple exercises or simple pranayams, you can do it at any point in time even when you are sick. I would say that you should put this in practice for the whole winter so that when the wind Throughout your winter, you do it religiously every sing every single day. Also, you do it at the same time if that is possible because that will put your mind into a routine so that you'll know that you're not going to miss it and you're going to do this every day. That's of course one thing. The other thing is, for instance, green leafy vegetables are very high. Spinach is very high in nitric oxide so you can also get your supplements from there as well other than of course 
um, doing your regular breath work so that you can actually have a, a two pronged approach to boosting your immunity to feeling more healthy to feeling having more energy within you during the winter. Also, this is an amazingly good set of exercises to do and it is there are no age barriers to this. So even if you're uh, going on in years and you know you, you cannot do the other active yoga exercises or any other active exercise, you can do this. So essentially when you're doing these two uh, breathwork systems, you, you will see over a period of time within a month or so, um, one of course it will clear all, all your nasal passages, your sinuses will clear, headaches will go away. Um, of course, your, your immunity will increase, your lung capacity will become better, um, your digestion also becomes better as a result. And not only that, because nitric oxide is actually a virus killer. So any kind of, of virus or any kind of attack that happens on your body, it is able to defend you over time. So it actually, boo uh, you, it is an internal medicine for you and this internal medicine helps you uh, cope with the winter, helps you actually um, become healthier over periods of time.